hard as nails platform arcade game that will get your fingers twisted. My name's Kanan and welcome back to the home of cheap gaming. And so from the cute little title screen, apart from the norm, we also have a hat shop that you can spend your purple and yellow paws you collect during play on. Profile is story, progress and stats. And so let's wag a tail and get on with it. So you're a pug that has been pulled through a portal due to a naughty cat. And your human has asked you to find said naughty cat and retrieve them and bring them back to your universe. You discover that you can swap between universes, between you and kind of like a another you, a brother you, a brother from another universe. <laughs> and so with A to jump and B to swap universes, you have to jump and swap to avoid spikes and also to jump on platforms that are in the other dimension where they're not in your dimension. This all sounds really difficult, and it really is, but it's a hell of a lot of good fun. And all of it is to make it to the end of the level and to the portal. And maybe... And so, top left, you have the amount of purple paws you can collect and have collected. Top right, yellow paws. Both of these are to spend on the stylish and very important hats in the store. In the top middle of the screen is the level progression with checkpoint flags. And thank Pug, there are checkpoints. Seriously. For a game that I mistook as a kid's game, this is hard as nails and, and requires a lot of finger dexterity. And had me swearing at the screen countless times. I did feel from time to time the controller response was a little slow and also when you get catapulted forward in the air by one of the power items you couldn't see what was coming and therefore you didn't know which which level or universe to be in to land on platforms and would subsequently die and have to go back and do it again. Although I'll be honest here, and 9 out of 10 times you will die from forgetting which finger is which, which sounds really weird, but this game does that to you. You forget which fingers are in which place, and therefore press the wrong button. Weird. And also thinking too far ahead, you'll press the button way before you get to where you need to be, and, and subsequently die again. All that aside, the mechanics to this game are very solid. And I do like the fact that there's a line that appears when the pug dies, giving you a indicator of where you died before and to reach it again. And not just the end or the portal or the flag. That adds another element to the game. And oh, oh, does it hurt when you're so close to it. But miss and you have to go back to the beginning, drawing the line back a little bit. The bosses seemed a little unfair, not impossible, but sometimes asking for pinpoint jumping, which sometimes is really difficult to make little tiny little jumps from time to time. But then is that the point and it's just me? The levels all seem the same, but differently skinned and then there's a the core mechanic which sometimes in different levels get used kind of cleverly and and used kind of against you instead of for you and likewise those little boosts and icons that you can go through that will make you jump and various other things they're there and they can be useful but also can hinder you i will say that it's a very cute looking game it's all works well apart from a tiny slowdown here and there. The pug is cute and even cuter when you put the little hats on him. And the way he whimpers in the game over screen or is playful in the in the menu screen is, 
is just an added bonus. The cutscenes are they're okay, they're nothing special. I think they could have been elevated if they were voiced or something that would have just added that extra level. And talking of the sound. <laughs> It's what you need for this game. Cute and fun. So I rate games out of 5 and you know what? I'm going to give this fun little game a 4 out of 5. This game is hard as nails. I play this because it's making my fingers itch. It makes me feel like I'm playing a puzzler rather than a platformer. And for just over £6, this is kind of one of those games that yeah you go and buy it it's just a fun little platformer puzzler i'm gonna call it from now on and for a game to get me swearing in front of my tv that's quite an achievement because it hasn't happened for quite a while so are you gonna buy it or are you gonna give it a miss let me know down in those comments as i say that's what they're there for anywho hit that like and subscribe button i'm gonna go and put my fingers on ice and remember, keep it cheap, keep it switch heads.